Hare Krishna. Evaluating action without understanding position causes delusion. Suppose a tribal who knows nothing about surgery comes to a hospital and then sees a person being operated and he sees the doctor taking a knife and ripping apart the stomach of cutting apart open the stomach of the person he may start shouting screaming killer 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 stop 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 and he's completely bewildered when he says that nobody pays attention to him nobody tries to stop the surgeon and instead they they stop him they say keep quiet don't disturb and not only that later they say that uh, he sees that the patients relatives not only don't chastise the uh, doctor, but they thank the doctor and pay him. He gets completely bewildered. And he's bewildered because he is evaluating the action without understanding the position. So uh, he does not understand that this is a doctor. And a doc the way a doctor deals with a knife is very different from the way uh, a murderer deals with a knife, uses a knife. So the mistake is in not understanding the position. Now something similar can happen to people when they look at Krishna's pastimes. And sometimes Krishna seems to do some immoral activities. You know, Krishna steals butter or Krishna tells someone to lie. And then they start saying that hey, this, is, uh, this is immoral, he's a liar, this is a thief. And yet, to their surprise, there are millions of people who stay devoted to Krishna and they just pay, don't, they pay no attention to people who uh, say like this or to him who is criticizing Krishna. And to add to the bewilderment, many of the people who are so totally devoted to Krishna, they are themselves of a very high morality. And not only that, by their, by their devotion to Krishna, even their moral character improves. So how is it that um, such a person can be immoral? And why, do, why are people worshipping such an immoral person? This person gets, okay, uh, people can get completely bewildered about this. Now, in the Bhagavad Gita Krishna states in 4.9, Janma karma chame divyam evam yo vetti tattvataha tyaktva deham punar janma naiti mameti so arjuna that Janma karma chame divyam that my appearance and activities are divine, divyam, transcendental. Evam yo vetti tattvataha, tattvataha, those who understand this in truth, tyaktva deham punar janma naiti. When they give up this body, they will not take birth again. Mameti so arjuna, they will come to me, they will attain me. So Krishna is stating over here, that by knowing his activities, we will become attracted to him and we will attain him. But the key word is Tattvataha. The, to understand him in truth. To understand him in truth means to understand his position before evaluating his action. And normally, if somebody does something, somebody lies or steals, they do it because of selfish desires. But Krishna has no selfish desires. Krishna acts purely out of love. So when they uh, when they see Krishna stealing when Krishna steals butter, he actually does so because he wants to increase uh, the feelings of affection and the excitement in the relationship between him and the elderly gopis. Krishna is the absolute truth, but he doesn't delight in being in his godhood. He actually subordinates his godhood. Uh, uh, and acts like ordinary human being, ordinary child for the sake of reciprocating love with his devotees and just as he subordinates his godhood similarly he sometimes subordinates his morality Sub subordinates morality so normally we should not steal but some people steal and they steal because and sorry and some Krishna steals because by that he's actually stealing the hearts of his devotees he is increasing their attraction to him and thus he is helping them come closer and closer to him. But when we truly understand how, how loving Krishna is and how Krishna subordinates everything else to love, to love, to his own godhood and even moral principles, then we understand that 
Krishna is an eminently lovable Lord and we fall deeply in love with Him and thus we attain Him. So for uh, understanding Krishna's actions and so that, that by that understanding we can have the effect of increasing our devotion for Him, we should understand His position. Thank you. Hare Krishna.